What's up guys, it's your boy Gang. Welcome back to a Let's Play series by me. Um, this is the first time in a few months I've done a Let's Play series and the reasoning behind that is Giants have, has not been releasing many mods for um, Xbox, so our console for that matter. Usually they drop a few a week, now it's down to like one or two a week. So basically what I'm going to be doing is running this Let's Play series um, until fs22 comes out which is next month i believe the 28th um i'm gonna try and do is drop one video every day or every other day i'm not gonna give you a schedule to stick to and all of that stuff but this is what basically what it is um we're on valley view and i'll get to why i use this map in a in a bit um as you can see we have a farmhouse we actually have a farm that we supposedly started out with um this is the Bickler farm basically this is also a mod and it's a modular mod where you can place the building and place buildings around it from that specific mod um, which means there's the ability to expand on certain things so let's get into why I chose the map so first off the main reason I chose the map was not many I didn't see a lot of let's plays with it that's the first reason the second reason is this map has um, a ton of crops we're talking about onion we're talking about cabbage we talk about coffee stuff like that there's a bunch of, of um different crop types that are on this map that actually it caught my eye because in real life i have a very big dream of one day owning a homestead or a small farm or something of that matter so currently i actually grow peppers onions um cucumbers and stuff like that at home on my patio because i don't have a yard so that's that's basically the reasoning behind it um map seems pretty good i love the crops that's on there um let's talk about the farmhouse mod so it's the bickler farm basically what it is is all right let's go into placeables really quickly let's do farmhouse so you see it has a few a few here you have the farm ground the farmhouse um which are those two and then from there i guess the the next stuff is you have animal pens which currently already have the the chicken coop on there the next is going to be the cow shed so basically the storyline as it goes is i left the city um to purchase a farm farm already came with a chicken coop and it came with with um two plots let's get rid of the saving really quickly and show you the plots So you're looking at where we start we're now starting with um fields six seven and the farm property this is in start from scratch mode with which means none of the buildings that you would start with on this map in any other mode is there which that's the reason why i chose this map and um because he had a lot of flat areas as well for me to place this um the bickler farm that's basically it so first episode is that's the tour um let's go ahead and show you what's going on this is the chicken coop right here that's the farmhouse um we have the ability to expand here in a few when i purchased this place it came with a truck came with two tractors and uh and a few equipment which is not bad not a bad start i have um dollars because like i said i sold a basically everything i own paid off some debt and i'm here that's if we're going by the story mode um standards yes i'm gonna be asked the question hey but gang this is supposed to be a start from scratch this is not a start from scratch this is just a let's play kind of somewhat a role playing i'm not gonna be doing that constantly but just you know so if you want to use your imagination and run it that way you can so basically I'm gonna do my best to keep episode each episode under 20 minutes. Um, if it goes over a bit, I apologize. Um, usually, I run with a a little time lapse um, here and there and stuff like that. I'm gonna be try. I'm gonna try my best to do some of that and do a lot of stuff off camera as well. Catch some of the things on camera initially, and then won't repeat myself with doing that on camera. Um, this episode in particular, I'm gonna be purchasing some sh some um, chickens, getting them going. Um, you know, we need eggs, fresh eggs for breakfast in the morning and stuff like that. Um, also, I'm going to be looking into like working on these two plots here. 
uh, precision farming is installed and the storyline behind that is I'm going to have to start out as a farmer not knowing what I'm doing, work my way up and then start doing everything to make my crops reap better. The idea now is um, field 6 and field 7. Those are currently... Which crop type are they? Let's see. Those are currently... Um, One looks to be, I think field six is probably cotton. And field seven is soybeans. Let's take a look really quickly. Let's just run over to field six. I think actually think field six might be grass, which is not necessarily bad, but I think it's cotton. I don't know why I think that, but let's see. All right, well, that's not field six. So field six is grass. All right, so that might be a bit useful. I was just going to plow the land and um, get rid of the crop that's there, but I think I might mow and keep the grass. And over here, I'm going to run them as fast as I can. Run, 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 run. I think that this one is soy. Not going to keep this one. I'm going to hire a worker and get this all torn out. And then in this field... Let's go back to this view. I'm going to probably split into two sections. I'm going to do... I'll probably do coffee and um, almond over here, half and half. And then on the next field, after I take the grass up and, you know, I'll probably use that for something, I'm not sure yet. Probably bale it, store it, silage, not sure. Um, I will probably turn this one here into... I'll say maybe um, tomato, lettuce, maybe your cabbage, maybe red cabbage actually. So lettuce, red cabbage, onion, and carrots. I'll figure out a way how to get them, you know, in that specific order, you know, work it out that way. So I'm thinking the first step is to get some chickens. So I've never used this mod before, I'm going to be honest with you. So I'm not sure. I know it says here that animal and um animal trigger and eggs in there but the space is really small and i can't imagine it being in here where the eggs come up but let's see so first off let's get i think this thing holds 100 chickens i'm gonna go for the 100 so i'm gonna do two of these so that leaves 98 so let's see if i can get it counted right All right, so we've reached capacity. Um, let's go ahead and confirm that. That was $5,000. So now we have chickens. Now we have to figure out feeding of it. So let's go in here, go over to animals. So they require only food and cleanliness, which isn't bad. So let's see. Um, let's go get some food from the store real quick. Also, I want to go ahead and turn the game speed up to about 15 that should work really well all right with this i'm gonna go ahead and jump into this dude right here and get into the, and then pick the trailer up and head over to the store so i'll see you guys back at the store Actually, I'm going to go to the store over here, which actually actually put one mod, another mod in. What I'm going to do is also list the mods that I have used in this game, in this um, series. Not necessarily in this first video, but as the, as the series progress, I'm going to have a list of what I use in the, um, in the game. That includes the tractors, if there were, um, the truck, the farm itself. Ooh, that's, that's not good. Okay. It's very poor driving. Very poor driving. 
But yeah, if you get my gist, that's exact. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, let's go ahead and um, get some. Let's open the cover. Start filling. I haven't played this like this in so long that I'm not even sure what to do. Report season. Alright, what do the chickens eat? Let's see here. Wheat, barley, sunflower. Let's do wheat. I think wheat might be the cheapest one. Let's do wheat. I think I'm gonna cut it off at right there. Because I think that might be more than enough for these 100 chickens. So let's head back over to the, the house, the farm. Uh, we're on the farm, or near the farm. Let's head back over to the chicken coop and um, add this in really quick. Yeah. Slow down. And this truck just. I think I need to work on the brakes. It's not working out so well. Let's change tip inside to right side. RB and Y unload. Right, so that took how much did it take? That took three thousand um, liters, which is it's not bad at all. So let's go ahead and put the tractor back over here. Let's not drive too much on that. Uh, all right, next step is we need to figure out the best way to mow. The uh, most effective, cost effective way to, to mow the grass. I'm not sure which way it's going to be. So I'm going to mow it. And then I'm going to um, plow it. And then we're going to see what we can plant on there. So. Let me figure that part out really quick. Alright, so I'm going to lease this here. It's going to be $800 initial leasing cost. Um, so let's go ahead and get that. Let's get the tractor to the store. Alrighty, so we're back over here. I'm going to see if I can actually hire a worker to get this done. Let's see if it's, if it's going to work. Guess not. Let's go up somewhere on the grass. Right, let's lower more. Let's just do it ourselves. Let's just see what we can get done. Actually, I don't want to do this myself. I'm going to go ahead and head up to this side of the field and see if we can actually hire a worker to do it. I'm feeling a bit, um, yeah, yeah. Let's just see what we can get done. Alrighty, so figured it out. Hired the worker. Let's get this dude cutting the grass. And then um, from here, we can um, plow the field, get rid of that, and then start doing what we need to do. So let's run through this and see. Actually, let's leave him. I'm going to take a look at the chickens really quickly. They're okay. Um, it's going to probably take a while for them to start producing eggs. So let's go back and see what's up with the worker. Says he ended his task. Which. Do I really have to line him up every single time? No. Can't be. Let me get through this, get this guy done doing what he's doing. Ready, that's 20 minutes. Um, but with all the, the, I think I can just fast track a lot of this and cut it down to less than 20 minutes. So hopefully the video comes out to less than 20 minutes. Let me get through this, bring you guys back in.
Alrighty, so we ended up firing that worker because he was being delinquent and getting rid of that um, more. No, that's not what happened. The more wasn't working out with the um, the worker. It, it was having issues. So basically, I rented this one instead and um, rehired the worker just to test if it actually works better than it previously did, which it looks like it does. All right, so let's get this guy finishing up on this. Um, gonna be doing a quick time lapse on that. So I'll get you guys back in here when we're done. Alright, I think, I think this actually looks a little bit ridiculous on this. I don't think I can actually use this to... Yeah, I don't think I can use this tractor to do what I'm about to try. But I'm going to try it anyways. So, I'm going to take this dude, see if I can plow the field with the soybeans in there. And um, try to get that done. Actually, no, I'm going to probably just stick to the mowing. But I'm going to test it just to see if it works. And if it does work, I'm gonna have the work around that field and um, probably kill two birds with one stone in this episode. <laughs> Let's see how slow this is gonna be moving. Yeah, um, that's not gonna be work. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna have to wait till the grass is done and then use um, the big tractor to get this done. All right, so. I have been thinking about this and I think I may need to purchase another medium sized tractor. Um, it's going to take a heavy hit on me actually, let's see what tractor I have currently. Maybe I can actually just purchase that one again. Uh, where are you, where are you? So it's a 65, 6405. Um, I think that's in a small track. No, it's not large. It's a small tractor is what it is. So it's going to be... So it's going to be here. Uh, I think it's this one. Let's do... I'm going to change the main color so I can differentiate them. Which that didn't change anything. Okay. Let's do that. front loader that's 20 grand basically let's go ahead and get that um, clear that out let's go pick it up that way I can actually start the plowing right now without having to worry about waiting on somebody so 81 grand left um, we have quite a ways to go all right so after about 10 hours of fighting with getting this thing up. We finally got it up and hiring a worker. Have him finish that. Let's go take a look at what this guy is doing over here. Wait, is he done? Okay. Alright, so worker completed that part of the field. I'm going to go ahead now and have him start on this side of the field. Um, it's becoming a bit late. So what I'm going to do is probably just end the episode here. Catch you guys back up in the morning and um, see where we get tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the series. Um, much more to come on it. Have a good one and please subscribe. Hit the like button and you know all the good stuff.
Thanks again for watching.